Hey everybody, welcome to Leon's Chainsaw Parts and Repair. Got a project here that is not a chainsaw, but will probably help me use my chainsaws. Got a water tank uh, that I can easily remove from the bed here. Uh, this is primarily designed for camping, so that I can refill the trailer on the road when we're dry camping. That's a 42 gallon tank. But the secondary purpose will be to help uh, you know, provide insurance against any sort of fire from running the chainsaw. Those aren't clouds, that's wildfire smoke. Anybody who's seen the news about West Coast horrible air, that's it. Mount Ashland's about 25 miles that way, and you ought to be able to see it easily from here, and I'm not sure you can't even see the foothills that are less than four miles that way. So, anyhow. What I've got here is a food grade tank, and that's why I used an RV style pump. That's a three gallon per minute on demand. So it's not a high volume by any stretch of the imagination. It's going to take around well, 14 minutes or so to drain that tank entirely. And the motor, I mean, it's 90, 95 degrees out here today. That motor's probably 120, 130. I mean, it's warm, but it works. Uh, use an RV style filler here. The vent is there, but it tends to get water in it if I overfill the tank. So, looks like it's been venting through the filler hose more than anything. So, I may have to redesign that at some point. But, wanted to keep this right at bed level. So I've got a three panel tonneau cover that goes over this to, you know, in the, the winter, it'll keep things dry and any other time of year it just keeps people's eyes off of whatever the hell I have in the bed. So anyway, I bought the, the food grade tank on eBay. Uh, hopefully it'll hold up. I haven't seen a leak from it yet. All the water in the bed here is just from me testing and getting fittings tight and all of that sort of jazz. It's got the plywood top and bottom, 2x4s on either side, plumber's tape across the back side, and then this 2x4 has got it wedged in place. That one's got it wedged in place. It's wedged against the one at the back that you can't see. It's not going anywhere. And then I just use the factory uh, bed hooks here with a ratchet strap and boom. So, haven't driven with it yet. Uh, that'll be the next thing, but I want to drain this out the rest of the way and refill it. Uh, that would be the rinse of the tank. To power it, what I did is I bought a kit from eTrailer.com that plugs into the factory 7-pin harness at the back of the hitch and it's basically a Y and it lets you run power up into the bed. So, I doubt I'll ever tow a fifth wheel. I, I like a bumper pull trailer better for the stuff I do, but if I do, the power, you know, a complete full wiring harness is there and for this purpose, it powers that real nicely. I've got the switch recessed, so it can't be accidentally bumped on and off. Listen how quiet this is. And it is pumping. I say it's not a fantastic amount of water, but I have tried it with the nozzle on there, and it's it's enough that if uh, if we were up on the hill cutting and something you know, a spark managed to ignite a small fire, or if we're doing a burn pile and we need to control the perimeter, this would do it at times when it's legal for uh, a burn pile. So, anyhow, the motivation to get this done quickly was uh, the fishing trip that my dad and I are going on here in another uh, month or so. Uh, the campground has water available, but they took the old-fashioned hand pump out and put a solar-powered uh, battery-operated pump in there that's much smaller than this one because it took me about, oh, ten minutes to fill a seven-gallon blue tote the last time we were there, and that that doesn't really suit me too well. That's That takes too bloody long, so... Anyhow... Kind of a neat little setup. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out and I'm looking forward to testing it out.